Hi everyone, it's Gabriella. I thought I'd have a chat to you while I draw. As you can see, I'm doing an ink pen skull study. A lot of people are afraid to draw in pen, but the trick is to just get in the flow and lose that fear. Once you're being creative, you shouldn't have the fear that you're gonna make a mistake and hold back, you should just feel free to do it. And if you do make a mistake, you can easily actually go back with pen and try and fix it. It's not such a difficult medium as everybody makes out, you know. I've been sketching for 17 years. I also enjoy painting, but sketching in pen is one of my most favorite things to do. I posted on my Instagram and Facebook that I would be answering some of your questions and a few of you wrote in and asked me a couple of things. Someone asked me why am I drawing skulls and I chose this subject matter because I would like to be able to draw a skull without having to look at a reference picture which is what so many of us do, so many of us artists we have a look at a reference picture and we take the outline or we use that as our inspiration so this is just really good practice for me to keep me sharp and get that skull perspective right from all different angles I was also asked what YouTube channels I watch I have just recently become a fan of Sherry Lisa Mo she is such a cool artist and I love her creepy doll faces her whole channel is just filled with interesting content and she looks like a really nice person in real life. I just love her. And I've been watching Linzor. Ching! If you watch any of her videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> she is really funny and I enjoy her makeup tutorials, even though I don't really wear a lot of makeup. <laughs> Although I do sometimes. I've been posting on YouTube for about a year now. And this is my first chatting video, which is a little bit awkward. But I am overcoming it. And I'd really appreciate it if you left me a comment down below. And gave me some feedback. Always, always nice to hear from the people that are watching my videos. What you guys think. Some people think that skulls are evil or bad, but I don't really like to look at the world that way. It's not always that black and white, like this is good and that is bad. My art is sometimes a little bit dark, which is fine, this is my expression. I love murder and mystery shows. Da -da -da -da. And I recently watched the new documentary series on Netflix. Uh, I think it's called The Disappearance of Madeline. It has quite a few episodes, so you've got to get through them all. But wow, what an amazing series. Really informative. And man, what happened to that girl? I, I don't know. It's like trying to solve the most impossible puzzle. Poor Madeline. I hope that she does eventually get found. I know like a lot of people say that it's it was her parents, but I can't I can't even imagine that I'm a parent and I have children and I think it's one of your worst nightmares as a mom to think that your child can just go missing from their bed. It's really, really, really bad. And that's exactly what happened with Madeline. And we all sort of just left clueless as to where she, she went. And it was like a bit bad that her mom and dad left her alone in the room. That's not something I would personally do as a mom, but phew. just watching that do documentary series, I think her Madeline's parents have been through so much like people slandering them and that her mom Kate looks so thin and frail <laughs> she's really been through so much so 
I hope they, they find their daughter one day. It is really such a complete mystery. I have no idea. Even after watching that whole series, I have no idea what could have happened to her. And obviously, whoever has taken her or you know whatever they did to her, only that person knows. And they haven't wanted to, you know, come forward and talk about it at all. So I really recommend that murder and mystery series. It's real life. It's the disappearance of Madeleine McCain on Netflix. Absolutely love it. And one last thing I wanted to talk about in this video, which is a little bit controversial, obviously. You can hear from my accent that I'm South African and I'm an artist and I follow other South African artists and recently Dianne Ford made the news for those of you that don't know who they are <laughs> perhaps you are lucky and I used to really sort of like Dianne Ford a few a few years back when I was younger you know their first song came out I think it was called Enter the Ninja and then uh, they sort of like went huge they they weren't really liked in South Africa by the conservative crowd if I can remember back they were like sort of hated on because of everything that they represent you know they, they're doing this deaf culture and now this whole story is just broken by this girl in Australia called Zani um, she's saying that Ninja raped her crazy all the the the, the fans are like <laughs> fighting and YouTube comments and Instagram um, comments it's really really quite interesting to follow but as far as I know there hasn't been any actual legal police report filed against Ninja. In fact, this girl Zani's uh, made a song, a couple of songs or an album or something. And Dianne Ford has been trying to get it taken down off of iTunes. It's a whole story. So it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen it yet. And that's sort of all I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoy my video and leave me a like comment and if you haven't already please subscribe love you guys lots and lots bye bye